Good morning, my DVT friends, GOG lovers, whoever. Um, been fixing and sorting a ton of um, vintage Joes lately, and I thought I might as well do a quick video. Um, it's probably not rocket science, and most people will know how to do it already, but just in case you don't, I like to record random stuff like this, so why not? So I've got a, um, a heavy duty here, V1, and obviously his O ring is snapped. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly replace it for you and show you how it's done. It's not hard, it took me a little while. Sometimes balancing and getting the arms to line up with the head at the same time while you put the torso back to the pain, but let's have a look. Now this is only assuming that your screw does not have any kind of issues with the, um, the tread or anything like that. You can drill them out. I've done it a couple of times, it's a massive pain and you bloody stress out about drilling at this one, no worries. So you just get a long, small Phillips head screwdriver and you get out the old mongrel screw and that one's got a nice bit of rust on the tip. So I'm gonna bend that and I'll show you what I'm using to replace. So you open this torso up quite easily, usually with your hands and all that bits of push to fall off and you'll find you know, your broken O-ring in there. They're not built to stand the test of time. That's why I'm in Tom cards. You often see them a little bit wobbly in there or breaking legs, which is sad, but that deteriorates over time. What are you gonna do? These figures are getting older and older by the day. So I buy these, I bought them on eBay ages ago. You buy a, a pack, it actually even comes with a little mini screwdriver too, which I don't know where it is. But that was about 10 bucks and it came with a ridiculous amount of O-rings and screws. Um, I don't know, I think it was bloody 10 bucks for about 250 or something stupid, so it's so cheap. Um, so if you have a bop, looking at Joe's and you're, they're broken, um, don't stress about that, man. It's so easy to fix. I'm sure most of you guys know how to do this. I'm not trying to be an elite, not to say I know everything, but I'm just, if there's anyone that doesn't know how to do it, why not? So, you grab his old legs with a little hook there. You grab your O-ring, which I just purchased in that, that lot. And you give it a bit of a dangle, all right? So that's ready to rock and roll. And no, it's not rock and roll, it's heavy duty, sorry. So then you gotta pop that O-ring through his waist or crotch, whatever you're gonna call it. You usually refer to it as crotches. So you pop that O-ring and the hook through the crotch. You can normally get most of it. And you either get a little hook, I just use the tip of the screwdriver. You'd be very gentle, you just grab the tip of that O-ring and pull it through. And I put, once you get your fingers on that, you're laughing. Generally it goes on pretty straight like that. And then you got his legs and torso, uh, legs and crotch together. Then you grab the back of his torso. Like I said, quite simple. I was actually teaching my six-year-old son um, how to do this and he's getting incredibly frustrated. But um, yeah, you, so you, you, you weave the O-ring through that, the main notch on the back of the torso and pull it through like that and it just kind of holds. Some are, some are mongrels and don't. Heavy duty is looking good for me right now. So you hold him like that and you grab an arm, start with his left arm and you pop it there. Now sometimes they stay nicely if you just give it a squeeze, he stayed nicely. No, he didn't, you know, he lied to me. So if he doesn't, I hold the torso like that. I put the left arm on and hold it down. Resting on my finger. That's, just fell off, but you gotta be. Hold the left arm, he's resting on my finger. Then I'll grab his right arm, put it in place and hold it with another finger. Then the head, pop the head with that little ball joint and the two notches, his right arm's just popped off. This is not going according to plan, but that's what it's all about, eh? No one's perfect. So sometimes you can't do it in your hand, you gotta pop them down. So what I'm gonna do is pop him down and I'm gonna Flick this camera down, so you, sadly you're not gonna see me, you're just gonna see heavy duty. All right, so, this torso is still sitting there, three. This is actually quite a good demonstration. I'm not trying to do anything hero for the camera. So you just rest one arm in its notch. It's bloody other one. Left arm in the, in the armhole. All right, so this is a lot easier than balancing them with your fingers. I'm not gonna edit this. This is as long as it takes. I'm not a professional. I've done a few hundred of these, but I'm not confessing you'd be the best or anything like that. I did time lapse this earlier for another figure. I think it was a Tiger Force Flint. So once you've got them all in place, you grab the top torso and it pops on in. Pretty cool. So now that's relatively, as long as you hold the torso together, it's relatively safe. Now he's a little bit, he's normally a little bit loose until you put the screw in. And once the screw 
brings the torso close, he tightens up. So let's do that now. Grab one of these screws I got. Yeah, so I'm sitting there by my computer working, fixing a couple of O-rings, I think I might as well do a quick video for my adoring fans out there, just in case that anyone was ever looking around at buying some Joes, I've seen a collection, I thought, oh no, there's, you know, those O-rings are cactus, I'm not gonna buy them, what a waste, you know, you're gonna lose money. Well, they're pretty, pretty simple to fix. Um, they're not like He-Man Motu bands, I hate them. Getting those bands through the waist are a lot, 10 million times harder than that. So there you go, arms nice and tight. And look at that, so O-ring, well, his head's still a bit loose. Well, I still gotta tighten that a little bit. You can see the torso hasn't gone to it together completely. If I squeeze it together with my hand, you'll see it. Um, yeah, these are these are a lot easier than than Jojo's. No, than Motu, sorry. There you go, nice and tight. So there you go, ready to go there. So look, like a new figure, obviously it's got paint wear, not me to anything about that. Most people aren't too worried about the fact that the O-ring's been replaced. There's no real, I don't think, elitists like Star Wars Vintage, for example, where you alter any kind of item with it, weapon, anything. People go stupid, but I think it's kind of recognised that O-rings are going to die. What are you going to do? So, obviously, they're not vintage O-rings, but, you know, what are you going to do? Can't do that for a Carter figure. That's why loose Joes are the best. Anyhow, that's the O-ring replacement. Just thought I'd do it for a laugh. Chuck a little video up on YouTube. Why not? That was heavy duty. Um, if you chuck, jump on that one, I've just, I've linked in here. I've done a time lapse, here it is actually. I time lapse this guy. Goes for about five seconds. It's, it's pretty cool in time lapse. Um, he was actually probably sim similar actually. I had to rest him down on the ground. But anyhow, yo Joe guys. I've got so many Joes coming. Um, always comes in, in droves, eh? Like I haven't had Joes for a while and then I've gone through this one. And then I've got two more um, massive, quite massive Jojo collections coming up for the next um, couple of weeks. So, Jojo guys, I love them. I hope you guys too. They seem to be selling pretty well. So yeah, come check me out if you're not in my group. Get down there, subscribe here. I do some random videos. I do a lot of unboxings. I'm gonna have some, some wicked unboxings, some Joes, some Star Wars coming up soon. So that was a bit of a laugh. Come and get it guys. Subscribe, say hello, comment, message me on Facebook, Facebook, whatever you gotta do. I'm here for a chat anytime.